Hello everybody, Carbonell here, bring you a whole another video! It's finally been a whole year of Splatoon 3 being out, and I think it's about time that I've put out my opinion of what I think about how about the game. Like, what I think about it. So, let's start with like, how I just, like, me playing Splatoon in general. Like, I started playing Splatoon whenever Splatoon 2 kind of came out. It was, um, ooh, I was trying to remember when Splatoon, the, when the year the Nintendo Switch came out. Was when I believe the, the Splatoon came out. All right, it was that year of Christmas I was playing Splatoon 2. And I got really, really into it. It was a lot of fun. I, I probably gr I grinded that game a lot. Probably not as much as many other people. And it was just so enjoyable. I really liked how the game felt. I liked how the weapons kind of played differently. Even to the point where I tried playing competitively here and there. It was, like, it, was, it was super enjoyable. I thought the characters were a little fun. The The music was pretty nice. There were some really bad maps, some really good maps, but like overall that was really fun. And that's how I started like my YouTube content creating career mainly is with Splatoon 2 and like little montages. And those were fun. I really did enjoy making those videos. It was so enjoyable and that was many years ago i'm gonna say like four to five years ago i don't remember but yeah that's like that's how i got into splatoon well that's more of like how like a little short synopsis of like my splatoon playing career the way i got into it is because of a twitch streamer i used to watch a lot back in when i was in high school and he played a lot of splatoon too and it kind of made me interested, and that's how I got into Splatoon 2, too, re eh, realistically. And surprisingly, because of Splatoon, I met so many cool people. Like, if it wasn't for Splatoon, I wouldn't have met all these different types of people. Like, I wouldn't have met Jack Ojin, I wouldn't have met Splat Mike, Barry, Lola, and, um, and so many other people I'm probably forgetting. It's just. There's just so many great people I've met with like content creating and Splatoon 3 in general. And I just think that's why like I just somehow always come back to Splatoon 3. Yet lately I've kind of fell out of love for Splatoon 3. And it's just it's just weird. Because when I play Splatoon 3, because when I play Splatoon 2, I was like super competitive. I like, I have like hard grind and such like that. But whenever I play like Splatoon 3, I think I said Splatoon 3 <laughs> for like back then. And then Splatoon 2, so whenever I was really highly competitive. And when it comes to Splatoon 3, I'm not as competitive. I'm more of like a casual enjoyer. But I've like seen more of the Splatoon community. It's, like, kind of bad side especially with the uh, Splatfest recently and it's really just get, really put a sour taste in my mouth like there's so many lovely people out there and I my favorite part is definitely like, the content creators and the artists I love seeing the different type of arts content creators and artists just bring out but after the Splatfest I just I don't know it's just I want to continue playing Splatoon and three, but I I like just some part of me just doesn't want to keep being part of a community this toxic. But like, granted, I there's not many. Like I can keep saying there's not not everyone is toxic, but it's just that those the toxic people just make it 10 times worse and to the point where I just I just see Splatoon 3 as like oh this is just terrible <laughs> and like that's just the community itself to be honest and I'm not gonna go into like oh it's what has happened in the Splatoon 3 community that has made me stop playing it's like that's just not fun at all <laughs> I'm going to bring like 
<laughs> I'm like good vibes. Like that's that's what I do. I just what I that's why I love playing Splatoon. Splatoon is such an easy thing to get vibes with. But then I'm also I'm still have that competitive side of me. And I I I I don't try to hide it. There's I just can't help but be competitive. It's just my it's just my nature. I love being competitive without so many different things. But then, like, if I like, whenever, like, I just I haven't played, like, I would play, like, not play for, like, months on end. And then I come back, but, like, there's, like, no way for, like, a casual to get into the game. Like, I'm only, like, a level 22, which is not, like, super high level. But, like, you get these, just, like, super highly sweaty games. And I, like, for me, like, I could play those, like, I could kind of, keep myself in a good, good spot in those highly sweaty games but like for me I feel kind of bad for for like the casual players who just want to have fun but I guess steamrolled it's like that's just like my thought of like balancing but like there's so many things now in Splatoon 3 you could do because there's like the story mode was actually a lot I love the story mode when I actually uh, when I played Splatoon Two stories mode, it was okay. But Social Trees was actually really fun, enjoyable. Because the the overworld was a lot more interactive, in my opinion. I never played Splatoon 1, so like I don't have Splatoon 2 to talk about. But yeah. Um there's there was something else I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, the modes. There's a bunch of different modes you can play, but like the other thing is I wish there was like Casual, um, I like how they have tier 4, you could like do splat zones, you could keep for splat zones, clam blitz, and stuff like that, instead of just doing ranked rotations. It's just like, you know, like just let's play those different modes without like it being like guaranteed <laughs> super sweaty and stuff like that. So, but like overall, I think the modes are fun. I'm not a big Salmon Run player, but like it's, it's enjoyable in some ways, like it's chilling playing with friends yeah like that's really my thoughts on Splatoon 3 it's like right now I'm in like that state of not in love with the game but like there's still like a love for the game because of the people I know and talk with I, I want to make more Splatoon content it's just right now so it was a weird state it's not like, it's not super healthy, nor is it super unhealthy. It's like in this mid ground. But yeah, um, really, all, that was, yeah, the point of this video is like, I wanted to put out my opinion for Splatoon 3. It's been finally one whole year, Splatoon 3, and you know, it's not like a super big milestone for me, like how it could be for many people, but I think it's like, important to have, like at least state my opinion i play the game and like i kind of consider myself someone who has a somewhat important opinion on it you know just being a one player in the community like i'm not super massive but like, i wanted to say my opinion i have nothing like super important to say like oh weapon balances and stuff like that that's just something completely different i have not been in the competitive scene to know about weapon balances too well Almost, I'm I'm literally also a Tama Wiper player. I have not, I don't really play any other weapons. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I I I don't want to make more like oh this is my opinion on this game. But yeah, it's a different it's a different style of video. I think no, it's pretty much what my my channel is. It's pretty much just commentary over gameplay. I think this is. I just wanted to put my opinion out there. But yeah, I, I do love everyone I've talked to about with playing Splatoon 3. And I'm really hoping to talk to more people in the future. But either way, I'm still a little bit sick, so I'm going to cut this now. You guys have a good rest of your day. And, you know, if you want to give me a comment, it's like, how has Splatoon, like, impacted your life? It's impacted my life very positively. So I'm hoping you guys have a very positive outlook on this game. Despite this last Blackfest um, whole conundrum. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. <laughs>